We're live. Get my glove on and we'll get started here. Okay. Bless you, my children. Look what we have tonight. Sabrina Bigelow. And look at this. Wow. Oh, look at hers. That's so it's cool. It's like super, uh, yeah. You got to hold it in front of something light. It's amazing. So. It looks so cool. We're probably going to stir this. I know it looks pretty, but we're probably going to stir this before we drink it because otherwise we're going to drink this yummy cranberry juice. And then at the end, we're going to be drinking straight vodka because this is black vodka Ooh. that I made myself. Okay, yeah, we're going to want to stir it. <laughs> so we're going to stir that up. So now what color is it? Oh, now look at now, it. Now that's it like the, that's matches the Lord's, my lipstick. Oh, it does. That's the Lord's blood for sure. The Lord's blood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we made it. Whoa. I like shook the whole world right there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we made it through the first four, first three Omen movies. 76, 78, 81. And now we're going to like shoot right up to 2024. That's this year. Okay. Sabrina came over and we watched. <gasps> the first omen. And we watched <laughs> the first omen. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We did. Charlie's peeking to see what's going on down here. Uh, only in theaters April 5th. So we didn't make it to the theater. We saw the preview when we saw Late Night with the Devil. Which, if it becomes a big enough cult hit, I might cover on here. Oh, I think you should. <clears throat> um, this is teeny tiny. And it's that weird tall writing. Nail Tiger Free. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> for week. Yeah, I should probably just put it in the credits or something because this is really hard to read. But again, this is a great poster. So we're going to set that right over here. Yeah. Like we did the other ones because they're all great posters. You didn't see Damien, too. I'll show it to you after. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Yes. I, I'm going to do as I usually do and just kind of go through my rundown here. And Sabrina's going to, you know, add as she sees fit. Indeed. Uh, First Omen, 2024, 20th Century Fox. Now, I, I'm old. <laughs> mm. Sabrina was born in the 21st century, but... I, can't you change the name to 21st Century Fox and still be the same company? Like, you can still retain the rights to... Maybe I already talked about this, but... Anyway, the director is Arkasha Stevenson. A young novice, Margaret, looking somewhat like this. Uh, a little, little more bland because, you know, she's a novice going into the real nunnery. A little basic. <laughs> arrives in 1971 Rome. They got all the old cars and everything. Mm. And Rome Rome looks old all the time. Uh, to work in an orphanage. Historic. 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 <laughs> Historic. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Sabrina's got it right. Uh, Rome's an older city. Uh, it's been around longer than uh, Reno or Salt Lake. Uh, so, yeah, there's some older buildings there. It wasn't hard to find those. Mm. Uh, including the orphanage. Uh, I don't know what building it was, but uh, it looked older. Yeah. Uh, there she befriends a troubled young lady. Uh, what do you say? Teen? 13? 14, maybe? Mm. Yeah. Carlita? Um, and uh, troubled meaning like she... Uh, they just don't approve of the way she acts, so they kind of lock her away a lot. And... They lock her away in the bad room. 
oh yeah, the bad room. Mm -hmm. And she sits in there and draws pictures that don't make her look any more sane. And she goes to the bad room because she like hurts the other sisters, you know, bites them. Yes, and yes. She's she's a little stuff. bit violent. Yeah, yeah. A little aggressive. So, um, uh, we catch some glimpses into uh, our, our young uh, novice, Margaret. And she can't be more than 22, 23, like Sabrina here. Um, into her troubled uh, childhood. And it would appear... Did you got the impression it was at the same orphanage that she? Did you get that impression? I did. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't, yeah. but I got the impression that it was at the same orphanage, and they mm. and that some of the older nuns remembered her being a troublemaker herself. Well, because she came from where in the U.S.? The um, state started with an M. Was it Massachusetts? No. Maryland. No. Yeah. Michigan? Michigan, maybe. No. I don't remember. One of the M states. <laughs> but yeah, she came from the United States, was invited uh, to work at this uh, orphanage. Mm -hmm. This isn't like a convent type nunnery. It's an orphanage uh, where they teach kids. Uh, so she's getting ready to... Uh... Oh, hang on. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, okay, we're back. We're back. The air conditioner kicked on. And in these get-ups, we are not about to turn off the air conditioner. Mm -mm. In fact, I'm thirsty. In fact, me too. Okay. So before they're going to get initiated i don't know what the right word is mm. i mean yeah i went to catholic school we talked about that in one of the earlier shows but uh i never was going to become a nun so i was never a novice oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, she decides well her roommate almost def definitely safe to say she twisted her arm a little bit <clears throat> To go, yeah. to go out for a wild night at the bar. And I don't know, I guess because it's an orphanage, maybe the older nuns aren't watching as closely. Because I know if you were in a convent, you know, yeah. getting ready to take vows, uh, there's no way you're sneaking out. <laughs> mm -mm. You ever been to the Carmelite Fair? Mm -mm. Up in uh, Cottonwood Heights, there's a, there's a convent, uh, the Carmelite nuns. And they have a fair every year. Really? And the mother superiors out there, and they got like food and stuff, and and uh, games. And if you look at the building, you see all the the nuns up there watching out the window. <laughs> They're locked in there. Huh. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Catholic stuff. Catholic stuff. <laughs> um, so a wild night out with her roommate. And it turns a little wilder than she was thinking. She meets a guy, and uh, I can't say how far it went, but uh, farther than I've been lately. Uh, I think she was raped. Wait, no. No. No, because the girl, her roommate was keeping an eye out. But, like, she didn't remember what happened the next day. Yeah. But the roommate was like, no, the, you're good. The roommate dragged her away. Yeah. Before it yeah, got Yeah, yeah. She was like, I had Mary. to drag you away because you were getting all, mm, and she was like, what? She was hot and heavy for this guy. Yeah, I guess. But I mean, it was 1971. His shirt was, was unbuttoned yeah. down to here, you know. It's true. Like we did. You don't remember that. I don't remember that. <laughs> Only from the movies. Soon. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> we'll get through this, I promise. Soon a crazy... Uh, I put in parentheses X here. I think he was an X priest. <laughs> and I, I got a parrot on my shoulder that's actually the creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, this priest is like filling her head with uh, with ideas uh, that 
kind of get her hallucinating again. We've already talked about how we've got glimpses of her past, and she used to hallucinate and see things and, and get put in the bad room herself, whether it was that place or not. Um, but I'll be damned if shit doesn't start going down. We've all seen the first three movies, mm -hmm. so we know that uh, stuff starts happening around her, and that was kind of the warning. Starting with the spectacular suicide of Sister Angelica, who was a little unstable, yeah, uh, but yeah, she, in a nod to the 1976 original, uh, you know, where Damien's nanny is like, uh, it's all for you, Damien, and out off the balcony she goes. Um, this one's a little more spectacular. It was. It was grand. We're not going to ruin it for you. Okay. Yeah, we're not. No. Okay. Okay. As Margaret starts to unravel the mystery, uh, she too seems to come unraveled. And I mean, is she actually crazy? Or is something sinister afoot? Bring, being a prequel, uh, I, I think you all know. <laughs> whether she's crazy or something sinister is afoot. Okay. We're going to summarize now. Okay, Are we're we ready to summarize? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. You got your score ready? I got my score ready. Okay. On its own, this is a great movie. Uh, very, very well done, I thought. Um, Do you hear that? Wind, maybe? Okay, continue. There's definitely something going on outside. <laughs> something fishy. We're going to go out there and see what it is right after this. We're going to investigate. Dressed just like this. So all my neighbors can see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There was only one major blunder in the uh, lingo of the year. Remember, this is set in 1971. Mm. And like that 70s show, you know... The younger people will slip <laughs> and use today's lingo instead of 1971's lingo. In fact, if you go back then, Tommy Chong was the only one who was talking like we actually talked back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tommy. And, and Sabrina wasn't there, so of course she didn't catch this. Most of you, so what, you guys are like 18 to 34 for the most part. Mm -hmm. And until, la until last month, mostly male. All of a sudden, I went mostly female last month. Oh. Um, That's because you got a female on the show. It <laughs> could be. Uh, so, th this one misstep did not ruin the movie for me. Much like the pack of cigarettes didn't ruin the doors for me. Mm -hmm. However, as a prequel, there was a very large discrepancy in what we know from 1976, The Omen, to the story in this movie. But the, to lead in, the story that we uncover in the graveyard of the first Omen would not have worked in this movie. I don't see how that could have worked. So, what a conundrum they're faced with here. They got to change the story for this to work. Mm. As is, mm -hmm. this is on par with Damien Omen 2, and I give it the same score, four rings. It's a four ring circus for me. What do you have to say, Sabrina? I agree, it's a four ring it's a, circus. Well, it's a four ring circus all the way around. It was pretty damn good, you gotta admit. Wow, that was pretty dramatic. <laughs> and this yeah. is this is the season finale. So, uh, do you have anything to say, Percival? Well, bloody hell then. Well, well, cheers to all you kids out there in YouTube land. Till next time. Yeah, that's right. That's that's good. Um, be sure to come back. We will be back Halloween night. I'll, I'll take it off at the gas station if I have to. Hey, maybe Sabrina can come work at the gas station. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, 
if she needs work, we'll, we'll find her a job. Um, so y'all join us Halloween for season six, which has yet to be named. This was season five, the three headed monster. Uh, we will find a season six name <laughs> and we will be back on Halloween. Yes, and we're just in time. Here's the air conditioner again. Yay!